Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Dungeon Crawl Stone Soup. Uh, when we last left off, I believe we were on level 4. Let's get this mouse out of the way. Let's just do a quick review here. Uh oh. There we go, there's our spells. Magic Dart is at full power, almost. Uh, Mephitic Cloud, 6% failure rate. Uh, you'll see that Mephitic Cloud is Conjuration, Poison, and Air, so that's uh, three schools of magic you have to train to get that up. Although you can sort of lean heavily on Conjurations and let Poison and Air, you know, one or two uh, levels and that will be fine, depending on the overall spell power. Uh, Blink, which lets you teleport anywhere in your line of sight. Uh, you've seen Conjure Flame. I haven't used Call Imp too much, and uh, there's four types of imps. Uh, well, I'm, sh I'm sure we're going to see more of those in a little bit. And Repel Missiles, which protects you from uh, nasty bow attacks. Uh, so let's just check out our skills here, how they're coming along. Not too bad, spellcasting's looking good. Uh, summonings is pathetic. Translocations I'm going to turn off at 2. And Air Magic and Poison Magic are fine there. I don't want to invest too heavily in these because uh, each school has an opposite school. So uh, let's say you have a 5 in Air Magic. Uh, that means your... let's see all our skills here. That means your Earth Magic will be much more difficult to train. It'll have a minus 4 to it as you can see here. And I might go into Earth, but uh, because Air Magic is only at 3, I only have to train 3 levels. And then this minus 4 will disappear, and it will it will be on the Air Magic. Uh, so these are all your skills. Uh, you need to have a way of training a skill in order to have it show up. These are the skills I can train. Um, Traps and Doors is very important, you don't want to forget that, but I'm not going to turn it on until I get my my uh, my my uh, skill my spells up to a proper level okay let's continue I'm hungry as usual I think I'll eat that pear and let's just take a look at our inventory I've memorized all the spells I want to memorize we haven't identified any of the potions and not too many of the scrolls either. I'm waiting for the temple to do that, so let's hope the temple's on the next level because I need a god. It was uh, it would have been nice to have a god. I would have got a lot of piety here. There were so many monsters there, but uh, what can you do? That's just what crawl gives you. So in order to move around quickly, I press O for auto explore. And that will stop you when you uh, when you reach something of interest. Ah, here is a centaur. So we're going to have to put on repel missiles, and then we're going to try and mephitic cloud them to confuse and disable them. There we go, and then we can knock him down with our magic dart. And we can eat his delicious corpse, but he doesn't have he didn't leave one that time. There's an orc, no problem. An adder. Oops, I thought he was dead. I caught him with the corner there of the Mephitic Cloud. <clears throat> and there's a helmet. Nothing special. Ah, there's an imp. Fire imp. Let's see if I can whip him with my electric whip. There we go. I got him with a combination of whipping and magic dart. And there's another one. I'm going to call some imps of my own. The ones with little hearts next to them are mine. And they should take care of them. Or at least help me to take care of them. There we go. And let's continue to explore. A bat skeleton, no problem. Ah, there's our first altar. That is the altar to Trog, the anti-magic god. Obviously we cannot worship him. But it's a good sign that the temple might be close. Although you never know. So right now I'm depending heavily on Mephitic Cloud. Uh-oh. 
That's an orc priest. He can smite you as long as he's uh, in your line of sight. There's no way to avoid it. Uh, unless you disable him with Mephitic Cloud. There we go. And now he can't do anything. And there's an orc wizard. He can throw... Oops, let's move this mouse. He can throw... Uh, uh, frost and turn invisible and confuse me, but uh, I confused him first. So let's eat some of these guys, get rid of our hunger, and continue to explore. Oh, we're hungry again. Fit a cloud him. Oh, now we're in trouble. It's a pretty bad situation. That ice beast is tough. You saw me fight one in the last video. We've got an ogre bearing down on us, so luckily we have 21 mana left, so we're going to call a bunch of imps. They'll uh, sort of form a shield around me. Three, four, and we're going to back up and continue to call imps. And we're also going to tell our imps, it's not really necessary now, but we're going to tell our imps to pick up any weapon they find. And you can do that with Control T, and then press A for all. And now you see it says your intelligent allies may now pick up anything they need. Oh, and they managed to kill the ogre. And I'll lend a hand with the ice beast. And there we go. When your uh, summons kill something, I think you only get 40% of the experience. So I lost out on a little experience there, but. Uh, there is a pretty much an endless amount of experience in this game. And we are already at level 8, and by dungeon level 5 that's pretty good. Let's just chop his corpse in case we need it. The corpses will rot pretty quickly, so... And it looks like we're pretty much finished with this level. And that's it. Let's just see if we have all three stairways down and all three stairways up. So there's no, we know there's no hidden little sections. And there aren't. And still no temple. And uh, I wanted to eat, but it looks like our orc meat has gone rotten. So we have to go down there very hungry. Oh. There is a temple to Vehemet. I'm going to turn off translocations now. That's good enough. Um, charms can stay up and summonings can stay up. And we still want to focus on spellcasting and conjurations. Uh, for now. And our call imp, you can see, is uh, less than half power. And all of our spells are hungerless, so none of them will make us hungry now, which is a very good thing. However, we do need a more powerful spell very soon. I shouldn't be standing toe-to-toe -to -toe with that uh, war dog. But I really want to eat him, so there we go. Uh oh Kill that orc. And I said I would, I would uh, worship whoever I met first, if Muna or Vehumet. And there's Vehumet, but I think I'm just going to explore this level just in case the temple's here, which it might very well be. Uh oh, that is the entrance to the Orcish Mines. That's the first side branch you usually run into. And you generally want to skip it. It's much better to do the lair first because, uh, well, it's it's easier. The Orcish Mines can be a very dangerous place. And uh, what do we have here? I think that guy's called an Orc Warrior. These guys are pretty tough, depending on uh, what armor he's wearing. The magic dart might not have too much effect on him, but he is confused, yeah. It's not doing much to him, so we're going to call a couple imps and press T and press A for attack new targets and they'll attack him. And we can back off and uh, casually call imps and restore our mana. Aha! 
we called uh, Shadow Imp. And uh, they have the ability to uh, raise the dead, so we've got a couple undead allies now. And they're fairly useful. They uh, they can't regain hit points, so they tend to die off eventually, and they just all walk through that trap, so uh, they're damaged already, but it's better than nothing. And I'm not seeing the temple here. I shouldn't have stood in the way of those poison darts. Yeah, I'm deeply poisoned. And I haven't identified my potions yet, which was stupid. But if you see there, potion K, I have five of those. That is most likely a cure potion. So I'm going to take the chance and drink it. And it was. Because I, uh, I was poisoned pretty badly. That is the importance of identifying your potions and scrolls, which I have to do very shortly. Let's just continue to explore. And sneak up on these guys, okay. That's a little too much, so let's try and draw one of them off. Call a couple of imps for help, get everybody to attack them. And they're all resistant to mephitic cloud, so we can confuse them as well. Although that tends to make a little bit of noise, and it's drawn the attention of more orcs. I'm, I'm just uh, whipping him here because he's fairly harmless when he's confused. And he can still hit you if he walks into you, but uh, chances are you'll be okay. And he's not confused anymore, so I'm going to drop another cloud on him. And the more he stays in the cloud, the more confused he gets. Unfortunately, Mephitic Cloud is not so useful against the higher level enemies. Uh, it's, uh, I think it works on a function... Ah! And that's what can happen in Crawl. I got too cocky. I stupidly, stupidly took a chance and he killed me in one hit. That was 30 health in one hit. I should have stayed away from him. I didn't even find the temple. That's how easy it is to die in Dungeon Crawl Stone Soup. How disappointing. Okay, well, 31 damage. Ugh. I think um, I'm going to try again. And uh, I'm going to run an Ice Mage. Because uh, I haven't seen a playthrough of Crawl um, with an Ice Mage. So, sorry about the short video, but uh, there's nothing I can do. Once you die in Crawl, you're dead. Uh, so, see you next time. Thanks. Bye-bye.